Hey you people, I'm 30 and welcome back to Return of Caesar here in Xerxes Kings 3, playing as the Roman Empire. Currently we have kinda an issue, we're gonna have two factions fire off kinda soon. First this one, and then this one. None of them are particularly strong though, as we can see. Only 66% faction power and 65. I'm not particularly worried. It's mainly Sicily and Taglib. So those... Taglib is apparently very, very spread out. Oh yeah, they changed it to actually... This is actually Nike, 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 Nike. Yeah, Nike. And Epirus. It's a lot of people here centrally, which we can deal with easily. Dalmatia and Serbia. Buitia. I, I feel confident being able to deal with these factions. So I think it's not going to be an issue, especially seeing as how much money I have and how much money we are making. So I'm actually going to go on a pilgrimage right now to a long one, very long to Alexandria. I could develop capital, which is something that I will do. Diligent. I get a lot of st stress because I'm diligent. I dream that Rome will one day be the envy of every ruler under the sky. I think it already is. I must endeavor to be the champion who turns it into a jewel of the earth. All that is needed is for me to put in some work. Get some development in the capital for five years. That's great. I think this fashion is just gonna fire off in a few seconds. It'll be interesting to see. Schema discovered. Am I currently trying to do something? I'm trying to kill the Queen of Alba because this guy is actually the right religion. Which is a good thing. He's a Jupiterian. That's better than, than his mother, but he has leprosy, which is not particularly good, to be fair. But he is, a, he is at least the right religion, which is the main thing. But I'm just gonna wait for a few seconds to see when this fire off. I am lost. I'm just gonna pay to not die. It is gonna fire off as well. Basically, at the same time, it's because it's taking so long for this other one to fire off. Sweden, Andalusia. Uh, Pannonia, Dalem, Tahert, Estonia, and Lusatia. What I could try and do is just... I'm gonna bribe this guy. And Pannonia. Try and get them out of the faction. And this counts. They already have the discontent that they need, but I want to try and use the weak and their military power as much as possible before this thing happens. So if I make any one of them drop out, that's gonna be a good thing. A rude story, you tell me something about myself. I want some dread, making people terrified of me. Promissory notes. Okay, my niece has given birth to a son, Justin. He's really, really good. So where are we now when it comes to research? Noblesse oblige. We did gain this one, which gives me development growth. That's really good. And now I probably want to go for which one? This one could be good. Um, but I want to try and make my army better. Plate armor. That's not particularly... I don't need my mana armor to be that particularly good. Having an extra domain limit would actually be a good thing. Or Renaissance Thought. I think that's the, fun the one that I'm going to focus on. Mainly. So we're we actually kind of close to getting finished with the entirety of research. Which is a good thing. Will this one fire off? I think they might be scared just because I am such a strong emperor in comparison to them. Like, they're not particularly strong, as we can see. With Sami insular populists. It actually went down because that guy left. So they actually started losing discontent, meaning this will not happen. And they still can because they're actually above the threshold, but I don't think that they're going to because they're too weak. And this one is too weak as well. I think they actually might have dealt with that thing. This one is really good, actually. Direct Vassal Opinion plus, plus 10. That's a really, really good. How old am I? I'm at 59. I'm feeling good, though, because I'm temperate, robust, and athletic, and have Rakus Entertainment and Strong Blood. That's good. My son is looking good. His son... Is sh she's only betrothed for because she's 15. But I'm making him a character of special interest, just so we can make sure to know whenever... His wife is pregnant, so I don't miss out on that happening. Yeah, sure. Right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just keep on expanding then if we don't have this thing be a problem when it comes to the independence factions. The question is where do we want to expand to? 
That's a good question. Potentially in this area could be a good thing to do. I also want to make sure we get rid of all the last people here in Arabia and Persia and modern day Iraq. Uh, basically, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Also try and get rid of these people. If possible, India is just going to take forever to take because it's such a big blob of count. This is, there's so many counties in here. You don't actually see it when you look at it because it's not particularly big. But if you zoom in, it's just so many counties. This is going to take forever to siege down or take down because there's a lot of small kingdoms in here. Which will take a long time to try and take. Right. I haven't really focused on Africa to be fair. Like, I haven't gone past a certain point and I, my vassals have not either for some reason. But I think actually what I'm gonna do, I wanna get try and get rid of the Abbasids if possible. I of course have all of my Kingdom ZBs back again, which is a good thing actually. Oh, we've talked about Kingdom ZBs. Is there a good Kingdom that I potentially could take and use that on? That would actually be a good idea, I think. Is try and make myself a bit... Make things easier. Like Punjab. That's a... It's a decent enough Kingdom. She's losing a war though, so I think I'm gonna wait until that war is done so I know how big that place is. So while that's going on, I'm gonna try and kill these small people. So you, my man, you should belong to me. Thank you. And so should... That's not what I wanted. I want the entire duchy. Oh, it's two duchies. Bloody go for... That one. And I want to try and take down... Abdullah. As well. With the conquests. I'm gonna attack the, uh, the Abbasids, of course, as well. I promise. Or I assure you that I'm going to attack the Abbasids as well. Let's try and take all of these small guys down. There's the Nusians Nushin, at this point. And you. And of course the Abbasids. I'm gonna try and take a duchy from them. Preferably the best one that I could find. I'm gonna, I could try and take this. It's only two counties though. That's only two counties. This one is slightly better. Uh, this will give me the entire coastline, which is something that I actually do like. So I'm going to try and take this one. I'm just going to raise my army and try and kill all of these people, which will take probably bloody forever. <laughs> Seeing as like how spread out these people are. But he's just trying to make the borders look a bit prettier. Which will all happen in due time. Hopefully. At least that is my idea. That's the idea that I have behind it. Freedom and friendliness. You let someone go. I don't really care about that person, but thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. Just to get progress and kill her. Go, go for it. She's dead. And now the king of Alba should be Jupiterian. And he is. And he actually likes us okay. He's intimidated though, so he will not actually rise against us. So that's a good thing. These factions are too weak. And their discontent is going down. That's great. That makes me feel comfortable. Yes, it does. Just give me my men at arms so I can finish this thing. Come on. Come on, game. Give them to me. Especially my bombards. Those are mainly the ones that I need. The other ones just cost money, to be fair. I don't really need them to race. I think this is taking longer than it usually does. Actually, it's probably because they're so far away from where we live. Oh. I should have to go through here. Because it's a impassable desert in between. Interesting. Get ransom, Boson, to that person. My granddaughter gave birth. It's Caesar Britannicus to Livia, which is a really good child. I like her. Yes, I do. I'll probably go try and go around the seaway just to make it happen a bit quicker when I'm trying to siege those other guys down. Did I attack those people as well? Uh, I think they're just allied to someone. Those people are allies. I don't think I'm actually trying to take them. Give me one the first one. Thank you. Making my place look bigger and bigger one place at a time. I'm actually going to go this way and then that way and then through C down to the abysses and siege them down. And I'm going to give this place away to someone. Random, like Hercules. Good name, good character. I like him. 
But I guess I do. I'm actually not making that much money. I'm making less money than I did with my previous character. It does make sense because he's younger and he doesn't have all of the things that my previous character used to have. And he doesn't- I also don't have the opinion with the- my vassals like my father did. We are related. So we can stop being rivals actually, because we are related. That's like the only reason why. Oh, that was easy. Enforce demands. Thank you. And now go and kill this guy. While I give this place away. Jabrin. To not the princess, Theodosius. You should have that one. And I should probably make those people belong to someone. Like, not Egypt actually. I want to go for Arabia rather. Because this is actually Arabia. It's going to make everything look terrible. But I think it makes the most sense. Also, the reason why I'm above my vassal limit is because I gained all of these new places here in Ireland, which should probably just belong to the British. I do own still some counties up here because I didn't give them away because I'm um, I'm not above my main limit, so I just kept them for a while. Oh, okay, that's the only thing that I could do. Right. So that got dealt with while I'm trying to take more things here. It's gonna take a while. Do I have an organizer, by the way? Please tell me that I have one. I have a logistician. That's not bad. But I would like an organizer just to make things move a bit quicker. Because it's taking a long time. No one particularly good, at least. So I'm gonna go for actually the logistician who's trying to keep my supply in place. I should probably have done that like well before that I did. But that's too late now. It did happen eventually though, so that's the main thing, right? Yes, it is. Okay, we didn't capture anyone, that's sad, if we, meaning we have to siege them down in like three days. Because I'm really good at sieges. Thank you. Karis, Severina. There's a lot of Amazonian women in the family right now. He's saying, and that's actually a really good thing. I actually really does, do like it. Okay, these are actually... Did I only take one county from these people, or did I take the entire duchy? Because if I only took, if I only declared war for one county, yes, I did. I only went for one county, that one. That's actually a mistake from my side. That's a big mistake from my side. Man, I didn't, I, I didn't watch. I didn't actually look carefully enough to try and take the entire thing, the entire thing. So that was a fail on my side, which I do apologize for, of course. It's a bit unnecessary to waste time here in Arabia trying to siege that guy down in another war. Which will basically be what we have to settle for. Another war trying to take these people down. It's because I weren't able to try and take everything in one go. I'm actually losing money. It's because they're raised, uh, because they're a C. Which is really interesting. I'm not making even close to as much money as I used to with my previous character. That's a really big army, by the way. Impressive. I am. Count me in as being impressed. Because yes, I am. Please just... He didn't get captured, and we only have a partial siege done, or a pa partial occupation. Which is not ideal. Someone might... Some people might join in. I don't... I don't worry particularly much about that. It shouldn't be an issue for us. The Caliph is already... He joined in that other war, although he's already fighting against us. I see. I also have these two people to siege down, of course. Oh, you can finally get married. Have fun. She's a bit, she's a bit gay. She don't like men. But, uh... I think she will be fine. Right? Who cares about sexual preferences in these days, you know? Who's, sleep with whatever you want to. Even if you don't even... Are attracted to them. And I'm basically forcing them to sleep with them because of politics, but then again, I'm not a particularly good person, at least not when playing CK3. I think CK3 takes like out the worst, bring, brings out the worst of all of us, really. That side of you who lie, you really like these really nasty things. Like, yeah, that's basically the thing. I'm lost for words. Uh, to be fair, I'm actually not. I don't actually particularly care. I feel like that's happened so many times now that I don't really care about it. Yeah, I only get one county, which is a big fail. 
I'm gonna revoke that lease because you are the wrong religion, that holy order. I'm gonna grant this to not the princeps, I'm gonna grant it to that guy. And I'm gonna go to C again and siege down the Abbasids. He's a child, meaning he will actually be in here. Meaning if we siege that down, we might actually capture him. Meaning we will win the war immediately. Which is a good thing. Shun food? That seems like a stupid thing to do because I'm temperate or something. I think that's actually the reason. Heresy? Go away. Hellenism again. Uh, I'm a confider. That's not a particularly good thing to do, I think. Because some people actually embrace this heresy, but it's gonna go away eventually, you know. I don't... Shouldn't be an issue. I think it will go away. Hopefully. In due time. As long as no kings join in, you know, it shouldn't be an issue. While I go working out. There we go. Okay, we siege that down. We didn't capture the child, though. That is a disappointment. Um, meaning I shall have to go and siege these people down. It's gonna take a while. And um, my people are starting to starve to death as well, which is not ideal, to be fair. I would prefer to not be starving to death while playing, but who knows? The Lord works in mysterious ways, and a bit of starving, it's, it's character building, you know? I think that's how you could put it. It's a really character building. And it's really nasty and awful at the same time, so I don't really know why I should force my people to go through it. But that's just the way things are right now. Okay, I think I need to send some people back home. Because this is actually going really, really badly when it comes to starvation. More vigilant. Send him to jail. I don't want him to be here. Okay, so I'm just sitting this down in a few days. But I, I think what I really need to do, I just need to take these people. Like that. And I need to put them somewhere where they can actually stand without starving to death and send the rest of them home. Just to get some supply back. And I need them to get the new commander. The guy who likes logistics. Martina. Right. There's a lot of people in my jail now. I just need to get rid of them. It'll take a while, but... It will eventually happen. Okay, they're still starving because... They're not above this, the supply limit right now, but they just need to get a tick of supply before it does happen. Council opinion, that's a good thing. Although mo most of my councillors are actually my own family, rather than being uh, independent guys. Meaning it's actually not helping. And this is exactly what I feared, so I'm gonna split you up just to try and get my supply back. Because raising them and re-raising them is just taking too long. It's something that you could do before they nerfed it, but nowadays that's not something that you could do. So there's no reason to do it. Raising and re-raising them. I might actually start losing some of these other wars if I don't actually go about sieging them down. So if I had these people can get their supply back, I would very much so appreciate it. What I'm gonna do at the same time is try and raise some troops here so that I can kill their armies off without endangering my siege equipment. Basically. And uh, I don't think that's gonna be possible or even achievable seeing as they're coming to kill me right now and i don't think we're gonna get enough soldiers before they arrive to no we're not going to right i'm gonna raise them further back like up here there we go i did lose a considerable amount of troops to starvation which is a particularly nasty way to go what can you do those things happens you know and in the end, we all have too many men altogether. It's like it's not like we can feed all of them, you know. We just let them die. It's fine. It's it's fine, really. It is. Because these people are getting raised slowly. They're getting. I think that's like the entire Abbasid army. To be fair, those people seem strong enough to go and kill my opponents. So they, that's exactly what they're gonna do. I'm gonna let these people get one extra tick of supply, so you get one hundred before I do anything. Juliana, she's also amazing. So that's the Abbasid army, I don't really know what they're gonna do. Plautilla and Caesar Justin got twins, and 
Both of them are actually really good. Okay, so you two, go and start sieging down the rest, please. If you don't mind. Why did they go to C? I, I see no reason for them to go to C. I really don't, and that's actually me killing the entire Abyssid army, so that's a good thing. I mean, really good thing, actually. Okay, you guys, you can go home. I don't, I don't need you. I really don't. Try, try and catch this guy now, come on. That's actually a sizable enough army. I think they might actually be able to beat me if I encountered them in a battle. And if they try and kill these people, they're obviously gonna win. And somehow we actually won the opposite war without doing anything. Good. So I got these coastal provinces. I actually only got one of them personally. It's gonna go to the mission. And those people, you should run to the sea so I can go and kill these people. I own everything down here, you know? That's great. Because these people are down here. And I think they're actually trying to face face off against me, I think. Which is peculiar. That they actually dare do it. But I'm gonna try and kill this guy. It's gonna happen in due, in due course. In due course of time. Tarasilla could marry someone? I think that's... Okay, Aurelian, he's gonna be your new spouse. Have fun. Use protection. Or really don't, I actually need more children in the family, so actually don't use protection at all, if you don't mind. You're really saying that I'm gonna win with that small of an army against that big of an army? That's actually kind of impressive. Uh, you... This is actually really bad. But apparently I'm gonna win it, and apparently I finished converting culture in Modena. It's gonna go into Tortona. Now instead. So they say that those people themselves are gonna beat the entirety of that. It's all it is Palatina and a lot of siege equipment. Um I don't feel confident that this is gonna go well and I'm gonna lose my good troops. They're actually fighting really well though. That's impressive. That was only a girl, so it doesn't really matter who she was. This is actually not going how I imagined it would go. My opponents are apparently really good at fighting. I did win in the end, but that was actually kind of embarrassing. But we have the siege equipment, so we're gonna siege them down and we're gonna win this war. And we didn't, because apparently these people own something else than just this place. They actually own... We, did, we only got a partial occupation, that's what happened. Okay. Where is the... There it is. Good. This is going really badly, but I'm gonna do something about it very soon. I don't think the people living down here is particularly happy about me right now, but uh, I don't really care. Marry Juliana, please. While I go and siege these people down. Come on. We discovered something else when I came to siege. Noblesse oblige. Oh, we gain more opinion with our vassals. That's a really good thing, actually. It's gonna make our lives a bit easier when it comes to factions. There we go, we won. Now go and siege down this guy. Kill him. So we can win these two last two wars, preferably. So we gained this castle, this barony, and this castle. Gonna go to you, and all of those things, of course, are gonna go to the Regnum of Arabia. I want him to become a bit more beautiful on the map. Actually, that's mainly my reason for giving everything to him. And he actually owns the kingdom itself, like of Arabia, which is a really big one. Although he's mainly based in Yemen, actually, which is kind of peculiar. So the Abbasids are basically the limited emirate of the Yemen Yemites, rather than anything else. We actually gained a child, Caesar Julius. Interesting. The Lasarius Julia, I could get married to someone. Fascinating. Marry Verena because she's actually the oldest out of those people. And this Baron, please go away. 
this one is actually really going real badly. They're sitting me down and they're getting that defender controls a war target thing at the same time, you know, which is not a good thing. But I did do something about this now by sitting them down. And okay. My phone did some things, that's why I reacted. Right. That's a sizable enough army, but I think we could beat them. That's mainly levy. There's a lot of heavy infantry though. But I do have a lot of heavy infantry myself, and I do have pikemen and light footmen, although the light footmen are not particularly good at fighting. Actually though, that's the problem. The Liberty Faction went away, that's good, making it considerably weaker. Because someone left it, that's why it went away. And I host the feast. Welcome, my friends, to my little gathering of friends. Honored, honored to serve. I'm getting more money. I like that one. And reinvigorating friendship is a really good thing. Gotta go and kill these people. And I'm gonna enforce the mounds. Thank you. I didn't get that place. Because this was actually two duchies. I do remember that being the case. But that's, was that only... No, that was not only a barony. As I thought. That was like insane. He's a prince. You're a bastard. So that's good. I'm gonna grant it to you. There you go. Things are already starting to look so much more beautiful down here. She's on a burn. I don't really care about her. Actually. So, I don't want to be your friend. Having too many friends just make you become stressed out whenever they die. And that's not something that I'm particularly keen to see happen. To be fair. This is actually not going to go as well as I think, so I'm actually going to take this guy to fight him. And then I'm going to change him around when I'm sieging it down. Or... Seize it. I exposed him. Hopefully we will actually win this, but I'm actually not sure. We do have a slight advantage, and I have more troops as well. A considerable extra amount of troops. Yeah, it's going well. Good. Really good. And now we're just going to siege this down, and we're going to win. Hola Caesar Britannicus Aetius. That's a good name, I like it. Enforce demands. Finally disband everyone you can get to supply back. And now this should belong to Carus. And you should belong to the Kingdom of Arabia. And there we go. And I'm going to take a break here, guys. Make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. So you do not miss out on any future uploads in this campaign. Also leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to talk about. So make sure to do that as well. But thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Take care.